Welcome to this video on KFC, the world-famous fast food chain known for its mouth-watering fried chicken. We'll explore the story of Harlan Sanders, the founder of KFC, and how he developed his unique recipe of fried chicken that has become a favorite of millions of people around the world. We'll also take a closer look at the expansion of KFC, both in the United States and internationally, and how the company has continued to innovate and grow over the years. Along the way, we'll provide you with interesting facts, behind-the-scenes looks, and little-known stories that will leave you with a deeper appreciation for this iconic brand. Whether you're a die-hard fan of KFC or just curious to learn more about this global phenomenon, this video is for you. So, grab a bucket of chicken, settle in, and get ready to explore the history and legacy of KFC. The history of KFC dates back to the early 1930s when Harlan Sanders, the founder of KFC, started serving his unique recipe of fried chicken at a small gas station in Corbin, Kentucky. Sanders, who was born in Henryville, Indiana, in 1890, had a long and varied career before he became known for his fried chicken. Sanders' first job was as a farmhand, and he worked on a farm until he was 12 years old. He then left home and started working in various jobs, including as a streetcar conductor, a railroad fireman, and a soldier in the U.S. Army. After leaving the Army, Sanders worked as a cook in a variety of restaurants and hotels. In 1930, Sanders opened a small restaurant in Corbin, Kentucky, where he started selling his famous fried chicken. The restaurant was called Sanders Court and Cafe, and it became a popular destination for travelers passing through the area. Sanders' unique recipe of fried chicken was a hit with his customers, and the restaurant's reputation for quality food and service grew quickly. Sanders' fried chicken was so popular that he started franchising his recipe and his secret blend of 11 herbs and spices to other restaurants. He traveled across the country, signing up franchisees and teaching them how to prepare and serve his famous chicken. In the 1950s, KFC had established itself as a popular and growing fast food chain in the United States and Canada. The company's unique recipe of fried chicken, which was prepared using a special blend of 11 herbs and spices, had become a favorite among customers and helped to differentiate KFC from other fast food chains. In addition to its famous fried chicken, KFC also offered a variety of delicious side dishes, including mashed potatoes and gravy, coleslaw, and biscuits. These sides complemented the chicken and helped to make KFC a favorite choice among families and groups. Despite facing competition from other fast food chains, such as McDonald's and Burger King, which were also experiencing rapid growth, KFC remained competitive by continuing to expand its menu and introduce new items, such as the bucket meal. This meal included a variety of chicken, sides, and biscuits, which made it a convenient and popular choice for groups of all sizes. Moreover, KFC continued to innovate in its marketing and advertising campaigns, featuring the famous Colonel Sanders character, who was played by the company's founder, Harlan Sanders. The Colonel became a beloved icon of American culture and helped to promote KFC as a trusted and reliable fast food chain. By the end of the 1950s, KFC had expanded to more than 200 franchised restaurants in the United States and Canada, and the company's success showed no signs of slowing down. As the popularity of his chicken recipe grew, Sanders struggled to maintain consistent quality across all of his franchise locations. Additionally, he faced fierce competition from other fast food chains, which put pressure on him to innovate and improve his menu. In 1964, Sanders decided to sell KFC to a group of investors led by John Y. Brown Jr., a businessman and future governor of Kentucky. The sale allowed Sanders to retire from the company and focus on his personal interests. Some critics accused Sanders of selling out and compromising the quality of his chicken recipe in exchange for financial gain. Under the new ownership, KFC continued to expand and innovate. The company introduced new menu items, such as the famous bowl and the extra crispy chicken recipe, which helped to attract new customers and keep existing ones satisfied. KFC also expanded its reach internationally, opening new franchise locations in countries such as the United Kingdom, Japan, and Australia. 
In the 1980s, KFC faced some controversy when it was revealed that the company had switched from using pure vegetable oil to a cheaper blend that contained beef tallow. This move angered some vegetarian and religious groups who protested the use of animal products in KFC's cooking. In response, KFC eventually switched back to using pure vegetable oil in its cooking. Despite this controversy, KFC continued to grow and prosper throughout the 1980s. In 1986, the company was acquired by PepsiCo, which helped to expand KFC's reach even further through its extensive distribution network and marketing resources. In the 1990s, one of the most successful promotions of the decade was the Rotisserie Gold campaign, which introduced a new line of rotisserie chicken products that were marketed as a healthier alternative to the company's traditional fried chicken. The campaign helped to boost sales for the company and positioned KFC as a healthier fast food option. In 1995, KFC introduced a new marketing campaign featuring a cartoon character named The Colonel, who was based on KFC's founder, Harlan Sanders. The campaign was a hit and helped to reinvigorate the brand's image. During the 2000s, KFC continued its aggressive expansion into international markets, particularly in China, which became one of the company's largest and most important markets. KFC's entry into the Chinese market began in the 1980s, when the company opened its first location in Beijing. By the end of the 1990s, KFC had become the largest restaurant chain in China, with more than 400 locations across the country. In the 2000s, KFC continued to expand rapidly in China, opening new locations in both urban and rural areas. The company's success in China was due in part to its ability to adapt its menu to local tastes and preferences. For example, KFC introduced menu items such as congee, rice porridge, soy milk, and Chinese-style fried dough sticks to appeal to Chinese customers. KFC's expansion in other international markets during the 2000s was also significant. The company opened new locations in new countries and continued to focus on developing markets in Africa and the Middle East. In addition to opening new locations, KFC also experimented with new restaurant formats during the 2000s. The company introduced the KFC Select format, which offered a more upscale dining experience and a menu featuring higher quality ingredients, and the KFC Hot Zone which featured a limited menu of items designed to be served quickly. Overall, the 2000s were a period of significant expansion and innovation for KFC, as the company continued to grow its global footprint and adapt its menu and restaurant formats to meet the needs and preferences of customers around the world. Today, KFC is one of the largest fast food chains in the world, with over 24,000 locations in more than 145 countries. The company is known for its signature fried chicken, as well as its menu of sandwiches, sides, and desserts. KFC is owned by Yum Brands, a multinational restaurant company that also owns Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. KFC has also been committed to sustainability and social responsibility. The company has set goals to source all of its chicken from farms that meet higher welfare standards by 2026 and to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in its supply chain by 46% by 2030. KFC has also launched initiatives to support education and entrepreneurship in the communities where it operates. In addition to its focus on sustainability and social responsibility, KFC has also made significant investments in technology and digital innovation in recent years. The company has launched a mobile app for ordering and payment, as well as a loyalty program and delivery partnerships with major platforms like Uber Eats and Grubhub. Harlan Sanders, the founder of KFC, once said, Why is your chicken so good? Well, it's that secret recipe of 11 different spices and herbs. And then I always use fresh, never frozen chicken. These words embody the spirit of KFC and the company's ongoing commitment to excellence and innovation. As KFC continues to expand and evolve in the years to come, we can all take inspiration from the founder's wise words and strive to do our best, both in business and in life.
Thank you for taking the time to learn about the fascinating history and evolution of KFC. I hope you found this information informative and engaging. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to the Creative Mind channel for future updates. And as always, feel free to leave a comment with your thoughts or questions. Thank you again for watching.